Hello everyone, and welcome to the Total Sports Newsroom. I'm James, bringing you the latest from the British Open, where Billy Horschel has taken the lead in challenging conditions at Royal Troon. Billy Horschel braved the elements on a wild Saturday, flipping his cap around to keep the rain at bay and playing in short sleeves to swing freely. Embracing the harsh weather, Horschel navigated pot bunkers and rough terrain with a marvelous short game, finishing with a 2 under 69 to take a one-shot lead into the final round. Horschel expressed his excitement, saying, I'm excited to be here. I've wanted to be here my entire life. I'm finally here. Saturday's third round turned unpredictable, with heavy rain and biting winds making the course a formidable opponent. Shane Lowry, who began with a three-shot lead, dropped to ninth place, while Thriston Lawrence of South Africa and Sam Burns surged from ten shots behind to just one shot back. PGA champion Xander Schauffele also rose to the occasion, shooting a 69 to join those trailing by one shot. Justin Rose, maintaining steady play with 11 straight pars, finished with a fist pump worthy 73, and is also one shot behind. Rose commented on the day's difficulty, I kind of felt like it was going to be the type of day where you could go out and post a score, and it turned into an absolute survival test out there. Masters champion Scotty Scheffler sits two shots behind, managing to avoid posting a round over par this week. Former world number one Dustin Johnson, struggling through what he described as the hardest nine holes I think you could ever play in golf, is five shots behind after a 72. Horschel's tenacity shone through as he saved par on five consecutive holes on the back nine, despite not reaching the green. His lead stands at four under 209. Shane Lowry's struggles were evident as he fell apart over the final 11 holes, starting with a double bogey on the postage stamp eighth hole. Lowry finished with a 77, leaving him three shots behind. Reflecting on his performance, Lowry said, there's no doubt I'm gonna go out there tomorrow thinking I can win the tournament. But it's just hard right now. 10 minutes ago, I had to put for par on the 18th green, and I'm here talking to you guys now, trying to figure out how I shot 77 in my own head. Lawrence, who teed off earlier, shot a 65 with six birdies and eight holes, placing him in the final group with Horschel on Sunday. Burns, matching Lawrence's 65, is also one shot back, alongside Russell Henley, who shot 66. Horschel, holding a 54-hole lead for the first time in a major, faces the pressure of Sunday's final round against a resilient group of contenders, including Daniel Brown. The Englishman, making his major debut, briefly held the lead before a bogey-double bogey finish left him one shot behind. Brown described his unexpected confidence. I suppose a lot of people probably thought I was going to be shaking this morning and really nervous, but I've been absolutely fine. Schaufel, focused on positioning himself for the final stretch, said, if you can get yourself in a position with a few holes to play, I think you've really done your job for the week. But this was a good start to that. Despite the tough conditions, there were moments of brilliance. Saiwoo Kim made a hole-in-one on the 17th, the first ever in the 10 British Opens held at Royal Troon. Burns and Lawrence, both with 65s, now find themselves in prime positions to challenge for the title. Lawrence summed up the day perfectly. I'm making a lot of birdies in the clubhouse standing right here. That's all for now, stay tuned as we bring you the final results from the British Open. I'm James, and this is Total Sports Newsroom.